guys, Burnout Cultures here, Merry Christmas and all that jazz. I have this very impromptu video, I'm just trying to grab an opportunity in time. We may well have to cut it, curtail it, cut it short. If we get uh, interrupted it may well happen. This is, we'll be coming back soon and there'll be dogs and kids and interruptions fucking galore. So I might have to break off. I'm gonna put that. Right, I'll crack on then. So, like I say, Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you're having a, as good a time as possible. Um, I'm just, you know, so happy. Welcome to have a a, a week or so off work. Um, gives us chance just to just chill out and and hopefully play some of these bloody games. Is the main <laughs> this is the main uh, the main plan. Well, I can't seem to do much, much else to be honest. Um, nah, I just. What else can we do? Who knows what's round the corner? It's, it changes every day, doesn't it? If not every week, at least. I'm just trying to. It's got to the stage now. I'll be honest with you. I've, I've deleted news apps off my phone. I've just deleted them off. Just can't be doing with it a minute. Listen, it's just so bloody. You know, basically depressing. Can't be doing with it. Right, so. Get that crap out of the way onto this stuff. So we've got here, as the title suggests, some pre-Christmas and post-Christmas pickups. Because now on what date are we on today? 27th. Um, I'm going to show a couple of gifts first from a couple of people, a couple of good friends of mine. Uh, from one of the guys I've probably known. It's probably the longest longest mate I've ever known. So it's sent me a nice little gift here, I wasn't expecting it at all, it just landed through the post. Uh, the first one though, so I'd, this particular game, a few people picked it up on the Spectrum. I remember, I don't think I owned it back in the day, but I certainly remember playing it. Uh, so I probably played it on a mate's machine, but it's, it's, it, is a, it is a really enjoyable little game. It's dead simple, but really addictive, good fun. can get tricky in all the later levels. However, I bought two copies of it. I mean, this is the thing with 30 year plus year old tapes. Chances are a lot of them aren't going to work. So I bought the first copy, it didn't work. Bought the second copy re recently, didn't work. So, my me, me good buddy Clayton, Clayton Graphics, um, I was telling him about this. I said, oh, I ain't got... You know, it's, it's not working, this second copy. He says, oh, he says, I've got a dupe, I'll send it to you. He says, I've tested it, it's working. So, bless his cotton socks, he sent it through, and guess what? It works! Yes! That fella. So, the game in question is this, Booty. So, you're essentially a little... Are you like a, a deckhand or something? I don't think you're an actual pirate, are you? Like a deckhand. Collecting treasure, basically, in, the, in a galleon stroke, you know, ship. Um, so, I've got, <laughs> I've currently got another third copy somewhere buried in there, with all the rest of the crap, but yeah, I've got two copies here, but this is the working one, um, so thanks so much Clayton, very much appreciated for that mate, I said to him if I could send him out back, but he's having none of it, but you never know, you know, you might, you might come across some eventually, uh, you know, I've got a dupe and you might want it, so if you do, if you do say out mate at any stage, just let me know and I'll send it through, no problem. And the second gift, like I say, from a good old, dearest old friend, Alec, who lives up in Scotland. I think he lives in Dundee now. Um, he lived up in Shetland Islands, a little tiny little place called Bigton. Was it in the South Island, I think, Alec? Wasn't it? Yeah, South Island, Bigton. But he lives in Dundee now. Just this thing just landed through the post, bless him. And he said, um, essentially, it was just a... Something to read during the Christmas holiday. What Alec doesn't realise is I've got all that to get through. <laughs> That's a plenty of reading, but nonetheless, mate, it's a thought that counts and it's absolutely fantastic. So he sent me two issues that I hadn't heard of it. It's called Retro Format. So I've got issue zero, which is like a bit of a pilot issue, if you like, and issue one. So that's cool. And what we're even, the nicest thing, when I turn the page, we've got Retro Gear and Harper's. <laughs> shop on there so that were nice i haven't been through them yet alec but I, I certainly will mate i'll put these to the um 
the front of the queue, if you like. So you you know, I'll I'll get through them definitely over this holiday period because it's covers most all retro systems there. Um, I suppose it'd be a nice break. I do. I do like reading me um, retro gamer mags, but this will make a nice little change from that. So thanks again, buddy. Fantastic. Um, to get Christmas stuff out of the way. So these are just Christmas gifts. As a lot of people's or a few people have said, not massive amount of gaming stuff this year. To be honest, I thought I've got that bloody much I haven't even got to yet. What's the point? You know, it's just hoarding, isn't it? It's pointless buying a load more shit. Um, but she did get me a couple of stuff I put on the list. Um, both PS4 games, I had to get this. Resident Evil 2. And I fancied this as well for the VR side of it. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons. So I'll be defo, defo giving them a go. I'm still currently playing another game I'm going to show you. Now, I love this game. It's not for everyone. I get that. You're either into it or you're not. But this game, I'm just loving it. Uh, it's picked it up recently. Dirt cheap now. Ace Combat 7. Now, all right. I get. I think the criticism, a lot of it is, it's too, too arcadey. And a lot of people wanted it to be leaning more on the, the sim side but for me it's absolutely perfect it's brilliant it's hard it's difficult i think i'm on mission six at the moment but i've had to notch it down on difficulty because I, I was struggling i really was i was thinking about getting the flight stick for it but i am bothered there's no point won't fucking use it <laughs> just another dust collector for real but I was thinking, so when you play this, all right, you know, like criticism aside, and yeah, 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 but I always thought, I thought, if I could have played this when I were a kid, this particular game, and say, like, if, when I were about 13, 14, I think my fucking head would have exploded. It's that good. And it, I, I mean, I'm that, I think it, that graphically, um, the mechanic of how the aircraft performs and, and the graphics. You can do the full 360 sort of camera. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, I'd loved, I wish I could take this game back in time with a PS4 back to when I were like to say 13, 14. My God, that would have been so ace. I guess, you know, like it or not, a lot of this stuff's semi lost on us now, isn't it? You know, you just don't appreciate it. and And probably to a certain extent on even teenagers playing it nowadays. Because stuff's moved on that much. Um, but yeah, super enjoyable though. Really enjoying it. Uh, another couple of specy games I've picked up. So this one, I can't remember prices on any of this stuff. Um, by the way, I don't think any of it were expensive. But I just grabbed it as I saw it. Um, so I've got this clamshell. This is a nice little game. Gladiator. Uh, it's actually a one to eight only game. This um, get, I think I read a reading of it. Nice little red cassette as well. The uh, struggling with controls of it. It's sort of barbarian esque, if you like, the way it sort of controls and stuff, but not as good. It's sort of over complicated. For instance, you can. I think you've got like forty different weapons you can choose from. Um, but a lovely little clamshell, really nice. And I haven't actually had one um, specifically like this either. The way it just just clips shut, really nice. That might have been a tenner, about a tenner. Don't see loads and loads of copy of it, but really happy to have that. It loads as well, which is a bonus. Which I can't say is the same for this one, which is another. I mean, I remember this game, um, and so. I'm going to have to get another copy of this one. But it's just part and parcel of 8-bit cassette collecting, isn't it? At least, with, at least with Spectrums. This is what I always go on about a lot of people that collect Amiga and ST. A lot of it now with 16-bit with, with disc software, it's just had it. It's that rotting and, and all the rest of it. And it's cab. At least with this, it's fairly cheap-ish um, on a game by game sort of basis compared to Omega and ST. You know, if you pay you're essentially paying 
money for for the boxes in a lot of cases. And I don't get me wrong, I love the artwork, but a lot of this, a lot of the games, don't, they're not going to work, and they can shag drives up on on you know sixteen bit stuff. So. Touchwood so far, they haven't had any games chew, get chewed up and get stuck in, in the tape, tape deck yet. But this doesn't load. I can tell as soon as I started it, it's struggling. So it's a, you know it's pretty, got a load of sh shit on tape or something. But I'll have to get another copy. Anyway, I'm harping on. It's Movie, uh, which is like a detective. I think it's like a isometric detective game. If I remember rightly, but I think that's a Bob Wakeling cover and all amazing cover. But yeah, I'll definitely get another copy of this because um, I do I do remember playing it. I do remember it. I'm actually surprised I didn't already have it, but when I've gone through, I didn't. So I'll get another copy. Uh, this one I had to get as well. Just jumping back to PS4, I was very late to party. I've got it on download. I was going to get the Jap version, um, the bare knuckle one, but I didn't. I got the, the normal Streets of Rage 4, but I really wasn't going to get the physical. But do you know what? I think a lot of people have said we're definitely in the top five best PS4 releases, certainly this year. Um, it is that good a game. I had to get the physical of it. I really did. Um, so just happy to have it in the physical. Whether or not I need... Need to unseal it, probably not. Um, but nevertheless, good to have. Um, let's just have a swig. I haven't had that much to drink really this Christmas so far. Just to thank Dana, and he probably don't watch this, but just to thank Dana again for the last other week when he um, invited invited me on his stream. That were a good laugh for that Dana, and appreciate it, mate. Thank you much. A lot for that. Right, couple of how much we got here? Three, three PS One games. The first one, a uh, double caser to knock off, chip off the old list, and it's um, is that nine? Is that next one? Yeah, I think it's Final Fantasy Nine. Um, or is it eleven? Oh fuck knows, I don't fucking know. I won't play it. Who cares? I think it's Final Fantasy IX. Um, great condition. So, what is that one? Four disc. Uh, wow. So, uh, lovely condition manual. Got the first two discs there, and then. More bump. And the other two discs there. So that's apart from I think it's Final Fantasy Anthology. Or is it Origins? There might be another couple actually. I think there's Origins. It's the Origins. Certainly Anthology. I think there might be Origins as well to get. I've got a picture of all of them that someone had, had so that's the main ones anyway. That's seven eight nine. Seven eight nine, so Good to have that. Uh, this one was on... This apparently, I haven't played it yet, but apparently this is absolutely fantastic game. It's SLES1354. So, again, I've broke one of my own cardinal rules, haven't I? But it's supposed to be a really good game and it popped up for a cracking price. So I had to get it. It's Mr. Domino. Or no one can stop Mr. Domino. Complete with manual, in good condition. So, chuff to have it. And apparently, um, reading about it, it's supposed to be a very, very enjoyable game, is that? So I'll be getting round to giving that a go. And the last one, slight bit of damage on this. This came up dirt cheap as well. Hence why I got it. Because again... It's over the thousand. This is SLES 01722 and it's a bloody raw to. Bit of damage to the case there. We've got some crack into that bottom corner and the hinge has gone. So it's got a loose. I'll have to put a new uh, frontage on. 
but we've got the manual and I believe the disc is in good condition oh, it's got quite a few light marks on it but I'm sure they'll they'll be absolutely fine but yeah I think it must have been under 20 quid or I wouldn't have bought it because what I'm trying to do I'm trying to stay strict to my own rule and only get stuff that's cheap if it's over the thousand you know without just trying to condense it a bit without going stupid I'll never get anywhere um, especially with double cases so if I can find a double caser I'll if you get what I mean I'll, I'll try and get a double caser to knock off the list before getting out else I know it's a stupid convoluted way around it but that that's what I'm trying to do um, but I'm trying not to pay over odds because it's so easy to pay over odds for um, for PS1 and I've been to be fair I've been looking quite a bit on on CEX just to see um, if they're out in there. A few weeks, I think it was November, I'd had a look in in the Leeds branch CEX and they had quite a few stuff in. But again, sometimes when you compare it to eBay prices, if you're just prepared to bide your time on eBay, you can almost match it, if not better it, I think anyway. So I don't know. But I don't... I don't weigh out in as such like they do to make this credit, so it's I can't use it the way a lot of people do. So anyway, that's that's my uh, take on it. Now. Um, this I bought. So when I got my Cyberpunk Xbox One, whoever I bought it from, what it gave me, one game. You basically got a free download of the game which I've got, <clears throat> and I'm I'm play so far, all right. I'm only probably what three hours into it, if that. I haven't seen any major glitches yet. I know there's all this shit going on, and I know loads of people's asked for the money back, and quite rightly so. Um, they're saying they're gonna the next gen, you know, the Series X PS5 version will be a lot better. They'll be able to port it over and repair all these, you know, all these glitches and patch it all up and so it's a, it's a workable game apparently it's not workable but i ain't seen much yet it must be a bit further on it's worked for me so far um but i guess i'm only scratching surface scratching the surface of the game so far but anyway you got the game a free download and if you bought it within a time frame which i must have done you got a code to get this book free but this book was also out of stock or delayed I don't know if they delayed it or held it back um, until the release of the actual game might have been I'm guessing it will have been that because it was coincidence it was both same day got the download and this book landed from Amazon oh was it Amazon oh, I've got no game I don't it might have been Amazon actually anyway it is it's the cyberpunk complete official guide collector's edition so it's really lovely our back book. Um I am it's still sealed as yet. <sighs> I don't know. It's probably not right time to flip it anyway, to be honest, but it would a freebie. So I don't know what to do. I probably won't use it as it's intended to be, as a step by step guide, that's for sure, because I probably won't be able to, you know, dedicate that much time to that game specifically anyway but it's certainly nice to have as a standalone item that's for sure beautiful hardback beautiful artwork there um just looking at what's in there it's obviously looking how thick it is must be mega in depth yeah, utterly complete it says main jobs side jobs everything yeah so yeah i don't know i might i haven't even looked i don't know if the if the vlogging them or not i don't know um, one gift, probably not wrong channel list thinking about it, but one like, extra gift I got which I really wanted, so happy to get, was the the, the original 1960s Batman uh, on, on Blu-ray. This probably should be on Bootlegger's channel, but never mind, I'll just quickly show it on here uh, as soon as it's in games room. So I'm well happy to get that. I need to watch this. That's a fantastic series, that. It really is. I absolutely love that. Well, Bur Burgess Meredith and... Look, some of them fucking old timers in that fantastic guy. Yeah, you should watch that. Uh, and the last thing we've got an unboxing. 
a Marmite item, especially in the eyes of Stuart. <laughs> I'm unboxing it for you, Stuart, because I know how much you love it. You know, I, I, I saved it just to open it, just for you, mate. Because I know you'd be so looking forward to seeing it. Got them all ready, but... Can you guess what it is yet? This is where Stu just clicks off. I don't give a shit. I mean, the thing is, for the price it is, um, yeah, yeah, and you know, I, I get it, I get it, it's emulated, yeah, we can get all the games, but the thing is, what you've got to remember for me, so, I've got a Game Boy in there, and a Lynx, and Dota's got a Switch, which I've literally never played, right, never played. I've never been a massive um, Hamdel gamer for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. Uh, and the Switch has never appealed whatsoever to me. Mainly because of the cost of cost of the games and stuff. I know you can get cheap games and stuff now, but it's just been lost on me as that machine. Similarly, we yeah, I've, don't get me wrong. I've had the the. You know, the 3DS, I've had the DSs going right back, but they've never really held appeal to me. I've had PS Vitas, and I just thought with this one, I saw some reviews online. I just thought, you know what, I might actually use that. So you, you probably guess what it is. Guess what it is. I've used some vouchers that I had. Um, it's the Evercade. So this is the, you know, I think it's seventy nine ninety nine. It's not a fucking bank breaker, is it? Nice little bit of kit. I, I think they've done quite a good job with it, personally. Uh, and obviously the fact that you've got physical cartridges going in. Brilliant. So I'm going to, you know what? Over this holiday period, I'm just going to try and play it and see if I can get into a bit of Andel gaming. Um, like I say, for 80 quid, and you, what do you get in it? So you get the... What's that? The Namco Museum Collection. Um, all sorts on it. Basically you get three three little game packs with it, don't you? And there's loads of like, other ones as well online. I think they're 15 quid each. Oh, fucking hell. You know what I mean? It's... So anyway, I've got it. I'm going to give it a try. Why not? Who cares? I'll be in the minority. I don't care. Hit me. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. So that is it. That's it. That's my Christmas over with. Uh, I'm hoping to take a tree, uh, trip over to Lee's direct deals if I can and might pick up some stuff, some PS1 stuff. I'm also going to try and pick up some loose SNES titles. Um, he has basically has a massive bin full of loose cartridges, so I'm going to try and pick up a few stuff that I want stuff like uh, Yoshi's Island and all sorts of stuff. A few few loose carts. I've also got an item from Basabi James. It's I've been informed is now in UK customs, um, which will be definitely worth um, looking for that on a video, which I'm going to show when that does arrive. So I've got a few bits and pieces coming. I'm not going mental at the minute. I'm just taking it nice and steady. Not spending shit loads of money. Just getting odd stuff as it as it comes. Um, but yeah. All's good here. I hope all's good at your end too. So check back soon. I don't know when there'll be a, a bootleg. I'm hoping we can get a stream done. Um, definitely need to do a stream. Because I keep promising. Pete's chomping at the bit. And I keep letting him down due to, you know, commitments, shall we say. So I need to get my finger out with that. Um, but yeah, thank, as usual, guys, thank you for watching my little bag of shit channel. Uh, thanks to the guys that have gifted me them. You know, you, you're absolute legends. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll come back soon, as soon as I can. Thanks ever so much for watching. Long live the retro, motherfucker.